afternoon to you all. I believe we are all doing very well. Once again, I'm glad to be in your way. My name, as, has, as usual, has always been Sir Isaac. And thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. We are privileged to have with us this afternoon French gospel musician. Yes, you saw the flyers. Simeon. Yes, Simeon is with us. So without wasting my time, let's connect with Simeon and begin with our interaction. Yes, I call it inter interesting session. This is not an interview. Let's get to know her more. She's one of the powerful vocalists we have seen in this end time. And I'm so glad and honored to have her on Celebrity Vibes right here on Heights Media. Once again, thank you so much and God bless you for joining. Wow, wow. I'm doing great. Please, how about you? I'm great. Thank you. Thank you so much for honoring our invitation. You're welcome. Uh, I do not take it for granted at all. All right, so to begin with, uh, you, you've been in Africa recently. What? What brought you in Africa? What was the first experience? How did it all start? All right, all right. We, we've lost Simeon, but I will, I will connect her so that uh, we start again. Once again, this is Hive Media. And this is Celebrity Vibes right here on Hive Media. My name, as usual, is Saizi. And I'm your host. Hey, sorry, the network, I don't know it cuts. Sorry. No problem. <laughs> all right, so like I was saying, uh, uh, you're coming to Africa. How did it all begin? Uh, okay, it began, um, I met um, my very, very awesome pastor that I love so much. He's Nigerian, but he stays in Ghana. So I met him in Paris, okay? And right after that, um, he invited me in Ghana. So that's how, actually, my first steps in Africa were actually through Ghana. Yeah, it started like five years ago. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So the first time you came to Africa was Nigeria? No, Ghana. Ghana. Oh, okay. Okay. And then yeah, you went to Nigeria as well? Yes, of course. <laughs> how was that? How did that one also come about? It was, was it very true, uh, Tim Godfrey, Dr. Yes. Tim Godfrey? Yes. Oh, I see. I see. I saw you in some of uh, their event performances. Mm -hmm. And then you, you are so fluent when it comes to the local languages. How do you do it? <laughs> I honestly, it's just about like listening. I just listen to it and I repeat it. I rehearse it. I never really ask someone to help me. Uh, there's just one Nigerian song that I was helped, but the rest is just like by listening and then, yeah, repeating, basically. Mm, wow. One of my favorite of those ministrations uh, is the song I was playing at the background before you joined us. I don't know if you can mm. do a bit of that for us. Yeah, of course. Oh, grandma, say, yeah, yeah, grandma, oh, no, oh, say, I, yeah, yeah, grandma, oh, no, oh, say, 
Ah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay, so, so who is Simeon? We have seen Simeon ministering uh, on international platforms in Africa. You've been to uh, Canada, UK. You were on tour with uh, uh, our own brother. I don't know if you know who I'm talking about. Joe Metal. Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, yeah. So, uh, who is Simeon? For the first time, if someone is watching us. Um, well, I would, I'm, so I'm a French, I'm a French worship leader. Yeah, but I have the grace to travel everywhere. Um, and this is, like, what I'm doing now is actually, um, according to the visions that God gave me when I was five years old. Um, so I saw myself walking in Africa. And uh, another thing that I saw is I was actually being on stage and ministering and people were getting healed. So this is why, like, this is the reason, those two visions are the reason why I'm doing all of this now. Yeah, basically. Wow, wow, wow. I see, I see. And you, you, when that vision came, you didn't think it twice at all? No, I don't know. Okay, someone is saying, please sing <laughs> that song again. Oh, Viva, don't worry. She will ask her to do another one for you, or probably that <laughs> same song for you. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, so uh, how many albums do you have to your credit? Or you are yet to bring yeah, an album? I have, I have an album, and I have another single that is out, but I'm actually working on a lot of songs. So... Um, in my album, I have a tree song, actually. Wow. So by by next time I'll be back to Ghana, I'll surely shoot the video. And um, yeah, and then the new single um more English, French, and there's also a Nigerian song. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, so are, are we looking at any collaborations? Um. Yes. Yes, but I'm not gonna reveal anything yet. But yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? I see. I see. But so far, uh, like I said initially, you've been to Africa. What are some of the challenges that you've seen in the music industry? In Africa? Yes, in Africa. Um, I don't know. I don't really know. So you've I don't not see any... observed anything yet? What do you think so, is hindering hindering uh, the African music? What What do you mean? What do you mean? In terms of in terms of uh, breaking through the international level or platforms, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. see, most of our artists are local champions here, mm -hmm. uh -huh, but we don't see them regularly on the international platforms. Mm -hmm. Apart from the few ones that you yourself you have you have noticed. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, one of the things is that, um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm a testimony because I'm white and I can see in like African dialect, but most people can't. So the thing is that um, uh, if you really want to like be exposed in the international thing, to be mm -hmm. honest, writing songs that are fully uh, dialects, like just only dialect, I think it's going to be a bit hard because... Um, for example, let's say that America is the biggest okay market. Like once once you reach once you reach this, okay, uh America will make you very like very, very international. The thing is that a full song, a full, full, full song, okay, just three, for example, mm -hmm. can be very hard for people to take it. They will love it. But that would be very hard. One thing I, I've come to notice, and, and this is very small, is to put some dialect, okay? Dialect, um, yeah, dialect, uh, dialect, yeah, lyrics, and then at the same time, English, you know? Do both languages so that everyone can follow. This is something that I've realized. For example, um, Nigerians are doing this a lot. For example, uh, Nathaniel Bassi songs, okay? For example, yeah. only share Yano. You're the God of awesome wonders. And for example, last time I went to the US, uh, I went into a white community and they were singing that song. Basically because Onisha Yanu is quite easy, you know, to pronounce. Yeah. So yeah, basically, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, African uh, music gospel is wonderful, yo. And I think, uh, I really think it's the time for Africa because Africa is 
really blowing. And the gospel that you have is so unique that, to be honest, yeah, I just... And you guys have good people in in, in Ghana, so definitely. I see. I see. So apart, apart from God, who motivates you? Apart from? Like the, ne God. the network, I think the network is... Apart from God, uh, what inspires you? All right, so uh, we've, we've lost uh, Simeon once again. I'll try as much as possible to get her back. Once again, if you have just joined us, we are having an Instagram live session with friend gospel minstrel, Simeon. Yes, Simeon. Simeon music. Thank you so much for joining. Let's try and see if we'll get Simeon back. Okay. Okay. Hi. All I'm right. Back. Thank you for coming back. So before you, you left or oh, the network dropped, uh, I was asking, apart from God, what inspires you or who inspires you? Um, well, it's mainly God, to be honest. Uh, like, it's mainly God. But then I've met a lot of great people, great worshippers, and um, a great man of God that really, you know, that can help you to go further and focus more on your, your own, you know, on your own goals, yeah, basically. I see, I see. All right. And then, how do you get your songs? There, so there are some artists. They say they get their songs through uh, dreams. Oh. Some say when they are bathing. Some say when they are walking on the road. How do you get your songs? <laughs> it, it really depends. Sometimes it will be during service. Sometimes it's gonna be just in my room when I'm just worshiping and it's coming. Or sometimes it's just an ID. It really depends. It really depends. Oh, okay. okay. And then uh, most of your songs, do you write most of your songs? Or you, you, oh, yeah. You I, get I, I, yeah, yeah. Definitely. No, no. I write all of my songs. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, early this year, I don't know if I'm, I'm, I'm right. Uh, you came to Ghana once again uh, during, uh, you, you came to Action Chapel? Yes. How was the experience? It was good. It wasn't so the first time Action Chapel was, was with Joe when we did Atmosphere of Miracles. Yeah. That was in twenty eighteen. And um and yeah, but I mean yeah, Action Chapel is definitely my family and I really honor our bishop and all of his family. So it was wonderful. Oh. And I believe you made some few friends as well. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. I think uh, one of the reasons why Africans love you, especially Ghanaians love you, uh, is the fact that you can sing in our local languages. She, mm -hmm. Ga, and the rest. I don't know whether you've noticed it. Yeah, I did. I did. I mean, Ghana means so much to me like so i'm even i'm actually learning tree you know so very soon i'll surprise you very soon i'll speak fluent because yeah i really honor that there's something powerful about singing dialects in you know in african dialects because it's using a whole culture to actually bring it. and for example we we don't really have like as a white person i guess that we don't have we don't have this thing or we can like we can sing in french but it's not as strong as the way you guys can sing in african dialect and and that's why when i was invited for the first time in in ghana i i told myself that yo before coming i should i must learn a tree song to honor them you know to honor the culture so yeah yeah wow. basically yeah so are, are you looking at staging a concert here in ghana I'll be glad. I'm. I'll be glad. I will be very glad. I will love that. Yeah, I will love that. Oh, I see. And I know you. You play a lot of instruments as well. Uh, well, I just play keyboard. To be honest, I just play keyboard. I can do some stuff in drums, but I mainly play keyboard. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So you 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 can do. You can play it while singing. I know some yes. 
can't play it while singing but you you can do that <laughs> yes i can wow wow that is so beautiful eh uh, see me you don't know how honored i am to 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 have you on on celebrity vibes this afternoon eh uh, before we continue someone requested that you do a song so i don't know if we can do that then we proceed Yeah sure I'm um, I just have 5 minutes left cuz I'm going to another meeting sure. so sure. I just have yeah um okay um any songs yeah I love any that song? one yes yeah, so 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 now we cry and I also really love that one um minyobia minyobia Minyobia, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Simeon, uh, with this whole issue of coronavirus, COVID-19 outbreak everywhere, what, what are you saying to the people out there? Okay, uh, me, I would say that um, be focused on God, basically. Combat. This is a is actually a privileged time to actually go back to um our faith and you know examine ourselves because we don't have physical church anymore okay it's everything online so i want to encourage everyone to really you know um go back to the heart of god and as well i want to warn everyone uh instead of searching for any conspiracy thing because even if you find anything on the internet you will never really know if this is true if this is true if this is true but the thing that is true is that souls are dying and they don't know god so we should actually focus on saving souls praying for the souls that's basically it. yeah okay before you go uh, do you have any song that you, you you want to release in the coming days should we should, should we expect something from you Yeah yeah um the Nigerian song I wanted to release it with a video so I think I will wait for it for the whole lockdown to be left uh to be lifted and um but yeah definitely this week or next week uh, I'm going to release an English song yeah so, oh, okay thank you all right so Simeon once again thank you so much for joining us thank you. I'm so grateful we wish you all the best in your musical thank career thank you so much And please stay safe for us. Yeah, thank you. Bye bye. Okay, you. bye. Bye. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate all of you. Eh, uh, Minstrel Millicent Yanki, I see you. Eh, uh, hey, Mod, I see you. Eh, uh, Dennis Atta I see all of you Levinston thank you for joining uh Suzel Tidio thank you Pearl thank you African music both secular and gospel music is already big internationally all right thank you Inspire TV thank you for joining Juda So God bless all of you for joining us uh be us once once again uh on another edition of Celebrity Vibes right here on Hype Media and once again I've been your host uh, Sir Isaac uh, God bless you so much and please stay safe for us and stay home if you don't have anything serious doing in town in order to avoid the spread of covid-19 uh, once again god bless you and have a good afternoon <laughs>